Okay. Um, does this move around? It does. I'm using a new program. I'm using uh, my, I just purchased uh, Wondershare Fillmore 9. It's a uh, screen, uh, it's a video editor. And uh, it has the capability I see now. I just uh, I looked for it, you know. It uh, has the ability to record the screen. I'm not sure whether the audio is being recorded here correctly, so I'm going to have to check that. But. Uh, just in the hopes that maybe it is, let me say this is Jim Howard in Fort Worth, Texas. It is June 13th of 2020. It's almost 3 a.m. in the morning. And um, um, I guess I need to see whether this audio is being recorded. So, uh, I guess I need to stop the, well, let's see what happens here. I'll click on this. Okay, here's the, here is uh, the film more a nine. Let me hit F9 and see what happens. Okay. F9 pauses it. F9 restarts it. Uh, yeah, let me... Uh, I want to permanently stop it so I can look at this... Uh, Look at this. See what I've recorded, if anything. Uh, I don't see a like a timer running or something. That anyway, I'm going to stop this. However, I how do I stop this? Well, F9. Okay, I am back. I'm running uh, OBS now. And I saved the other two videos. I put them together in the uh, Fillmore video editing program. And I'm going to add this to that to that video. Um, let me pull up this and see what is being recorded. So, um, I just need need to figure out how to, uh, you know, so I need to start learning how to do these various things. I'm sure I'm stumbling over myself and doing this in ways that I shouldn't be doing it. I see I have video part one saved. And uh, so I can pull that right into the editor along with this when I am done with this and when I save this one thing I'll need to check is make sure the audio for both matches up and I think I know how to do that in this uh, new video editor uh, what do I want to mention I watched uh, let's see 
David Chappelle's new uh, YouTube video, which is actually, well, it's on YouTube, but it's, uh, they're saying it's a Netflix video, but it's, uh, on other platforms, it's shorter, it's on other platforms, and it's free, uh, totally to see, of course. So this is it here. If you want to see it, you can, uh, well, you can just do a search and you can find it. Do 846 Dave Chappelle on YouTube and you'll find it. Uh, you can go to, you know, my site, come over to Community, and you'll find it here. Let me just click on it for, uh, see it's 27 minutes long. By the way, I'm a big fan of David Chappelle. Uh, I am not crazy about this this video. Uh, you know, maybe he felt that he had to make it, uh, and maybe to some other people. Uh, I I don't know. I'm just I I don't think. I think that it could have been better done. <laughs> no, I shouldn't be saying that because. Yeah, he's a master at his comedy and at the everything that he does. So I'm don't pay any attention to me, but let me just run it for uh a little bit here for you. Just a little tiny bit. They're showing, I guess, that, that it's outdoors and that they're doing uh, you know, social distancing. Distancing? Dist I can't say, say that. Anyway, uh, I'll put the link to the community, well, you know, to the community thing, but you can also do a search. Uh, maybe I should put a link someplace. I don't know what I'm going to do. But um, the video that I made yesterday where I mentioned that back when I had the bulletin board system and we had the uh, different topics to discuss. Um, by the way, I, I'm a little confused up as to, let me do this. I think you're seeing full screen video of me over here. But I'm getting confused. Maybe it's because it's I'm old and it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, let's see if this works. It does. But if I try to go to the other video, the... Uh, Brio camera, it wouldn't. And I think that's what you're uh, seeing, so I'm just covering it up. I just had some ice cream earlier. Seems like anymore, well, for, for years now, I'm, 
I put on a a shirt and immediately uh, get food on it. Okay, I'm going to close this video. Okay, I hope you're still seeing video. Um, oh, okay. In the video before this, I mentioned that I had the computer bullet board system and we had discussions on various subjects back starting in 1982 and I mentioned in that video that in one of the things, the only one that somebody or people changed their opinion <laughs> was uh, Best Hamburger Place. And uh, we did not have White Castles. And people were commenting because some people were calling in, you know, over a computer modem from out of town and talking about, well, their favorite place was White Castles and we didn't have a White Castles. Finally we got White Castles and I agreed with them and other people in Kansas City agreed with them uh, when White Castles came to Kansas City. Uh, we have some White Castles hamburgers and cheeseburgers in our uh, freezer. I should have, I'd get up and run in and get one but I don't have any pants on but they come in a, White Castles hamburgers are small. Uh, and uh, they come in a package like this and you you break them and you open one end there's two connected together in there you break it uh, open up one end microwave it for I think one minute and uh, there you have uh, a White Castle's hamburger I do like them um, so back to uh, David Chappelle, great fan of his, uh, not crazy about this video. I mean, he's trying to accomplish something and maybe it just doesn't reach me or maybe I want to see it on a different level or something. So I don't know. I don't, I think it wasn't intended for a 79 year old white man. Um. I'm a fan of Bill Burr, too. And Jim Jaffrican, of course. The virus, I think, is mutating. That's not good news. Trump has rescheduled his rally out of respect for 17, or uh, for Juneteenth, 10th, 10th, whatever. I heard of, I, I have, because I think his, one of us uh, that on YouTube that I love this guy's videos, uh, the history guy, and I think that's one place that I heard about the, uh, you know, the whites going into a colored town that was called the, uh, what was it, the colored uh, Wall Street or whatever in, in, uh, I'd heard of it, I think there may have been a movie made too, I'm not sure if I saw the movie. But I really, it's, it's not something that... New Tide Power Pods, one up the cleaning... Uh, I'm a news buff, a history buff, and that, which... Um, not something that high up on my... Um, knowledge of, for some reason... Anyway, President Trump had uh, anyway says President Donald Trump announced last late Friday that he is rescheduling his rally 
that was to be held on June 19th, June 10th, the holiday commemorating the end of slavery in the United States out of respect for this holiday. Trump's decision to hold the to hold his first campaign rally in months on the holiday was met with widespread criticism uh, amid the national outcry following George Floyd's death at the hands of a of police officers and nationwide protests about police brutality and racial inequality. Uh, they had scheduled it for uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma on June 19th. I think the thing is I never heard of, uh, I didn't know there was a June 19th, a uh, Juneteenth, oh, it's a terrible, you know. Uh, I didn't know there was a holiday. I didn't know there was commemorations being, well, you know, I figured, I guess, for that unbelievable event and tragedy that there would be commemorations then, but I, I didn't know, uh, I mean, it's not like the 4th of July or Labor Day or something like that, just not in my memory. Um, let me get down here where I can, where it tells, okay, here we go. Okay, aside from the significance of June 19th, Tulsa also has a troubled racial history. In 1921, it was the site of a massacre of hundreds of African Americans during racial unrest in the historic section of the city known as Black Wall Street. Oh, okay, so uh, that was part of Tulsa, a part of Tulsa, not a, I thought it was a little separate city, <coughs> whatever, so you can see I don't know the history. It's something everybody should, every, you know, everybody in the United States should know about that, that hundreds of uh, in racial uh, trouble in 1921. So, I mean, that so anyway, he's canceled it. You know, he's splitting up the convention. His Republican convention is being split up. Uh, just everything is, you know, is chaos. You know, uh, I've never been a delegate or gone. I've never attended a uh, convention uh, when I worked in when I lived in Kansas City Missouri and uh, President Ford uh, the Republican convention was held in Kansas City Missouri but I was during that time I was scheduled seven uh, we were on for two weeks uh, 12 hour days no days off uh, because of the, you know, we didn't need to be actually, but well, I was working at a hospital that was uh, close to the event, and so for two weeks we were on 12-hour shifts, uh, no days off, uh, while the Republican convention was was there for Ford. Um, but I've well anyway, people that are political, you know, uh, get elected to be delegates. Of course, uh, if you're a politician or whatever, you automatic, you know, for your party, you automatically are a delegate and then they also elect people to attend and then you go there and then you vote for the party platform and and you then you eventually are gonna be voting for who's going to be your presidential candidate and your vice presidential candidate, that type of stuff. But people go to those events apparently, you know, you go and you get bags of goodies, you know, that the candidates are giving everybody, you know, and you go for the, the different parties or dinners that are held and people go and get drunk and people go for other reasons. And so, 
Now Trump has divided up his apparently because he's mad at I think Charlotte or whatever. Uh, so he's having part of it. It's, it's, everything is a mess. Everything is confusing. Um, so. What did I want to cover? I do want to learn this video editing software. If you watch my videos, you know, I, I just hate to, I want, I don't want to spend time learning to hit the F key or this key or drag this or do that. I, I, I just don't want to spend, I'm lazy with, when it comes to that. And uh, my videos, you know, reflect that. I mean, they could be, my videos could be a lot better especially after having done this forever. Uh, but I just don't want to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to settle myself down and uh, learn to properly use this editing software because it is, uh, I may not get the link in there today, but I'll put a link in to it uh, if, in case you're interested. It uh, works on, it's not free, it's about, I think, $69. So they have various, you know, uh, pricing plans, but um, it works on uh, Windows and Mac computers. Hang on a second. I need ice. I may have to uh, may have to get up and get some ice, and so you're gonna have to avert your eyes when I do. Yep, I don't like hot coke. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. This is the camp on the camera going, okay, I'm going to put this over here like this. Okay, we're going to do this, and I'm going to go get some ice. I will be back.
I'm back. Uh, let me see what you're seeing on camera here. Okay. I had to uh, run to the bathroom also. I have an enlarged prostate. And I have to run to the bathroom a lot. I love olives. Green olives. I'm really crowded in this uh, one room here. Uh, have too much, too much junk. So let's see. CNN. Nope, that wasn't CNN. There we go. Tucker Carlson, I guess. I guess there's an ad boycott causing headaches for Fox News. Let's check that out here. Bye bye, Tucker Carlson, T Mobile CEO. It, it's almost unbelievable that someone built this graphic and put it on television, but Fox News is now being scrutinized after airing a graphic and a segment that compared stock market rallies after events related to the beating or killing of black men. Yeah, the graph showed the market's latest rise despite the nationwide protest over the death of George Floyd. It compared... Okay, let's see. T-Mobile CEO tweeted earlier this week in response to the consumers who criticized the advertising on Carlson's show. Uh, T-Mobile hasn't bought any airtime on the Tucker Carlson tonight for about a month, and we won't in the future either. So, okay. So. What do you all think about boycotts? I have an opinion, but I'll keep it to myself. Um, well, I won't keep it to myself. You know me. I think some of them overdone. I remember uh, there was a lot of boycotting done by the right wing. I'm not sure exactly if it was Republicans exactly or if it was uh, religious people maybe both, uh, of uh, Disney because of uh, Disney had benefits for, I'm not sure if it was for single women or if it was uh, for transgender people. I can't remember what the complaint was, but there was, I think that kind of stuff was stupid. But in some cases, I don't know. Anyway. So this virus is uh, ch changing, that's not good. 
Mutation shows why the coronavirus is such a formidable foe. Stunning images show the coronavirus is overrunning hospitals. So far here in the United States, I think it is, 400,000 people have died from, is that in the United States? Let me check. I think that may be around the world. Introducing Tide Power Pods. With Cat and Nat. I love how much I can stuff into these machines. Okay. Um, I live in Texas, by the way. It says Texas and Florida, the coronavirus cases spike to record highs. I'm 79 years old. Um, I have several medical problems. I'd like to get in to see a couple of doctors that I need to get into, but I don't want to risk going to. I shouldn't have got these olives. I can't resist eating them. says here that this police officer who had his knee on this on Floyd well, I can't remember his name now I know that's terrible I'm supposed to be able to but I know I, I'm going to use age as an excuse uh, that he's going to be eligible for uh, retirement pension of about a million dollars over time. But he he's going to be sued, you know, and he, I mean, he's going to have his problems of uh, perhaps ending up in prison, but he's also going to be sued and he's going to lose that case in uh, civil court. And Now it's a it's a city pension. I think though that they can. I think that it can be. Uh, he can end up that in, that entire money would be taken away from him and go to the family uh, very easily. So, I think they said that the other three guys, other three police officers, were all rookies and aren't, you know, they're not in the pension plan yet or something like that anyway. A community wants answers about a young black man who was found hanging from a tree. I remember back, um, during the, see, I worked the 2000 census, so it was the 2010 census. There was a census worker in the South, uh, and I can't remember now whether he was white or black. Can't remember the details, but <coughs> he was found hanging in a tree, and there was. Uh, suspicion, you know, that it was racial, and uh, turns out that, uh, if you believe, you know, uh, the police reports, and, and I think, the, well, he was a federal uh, employee, so I'm sure the FBI was investigating, uh, so anyway, uh, this may be a lynching, or it may be somebody who committed suicide, and it may be somebody who did it uh, deliberately be because of whatever everything that's going on. A community is demanding answers after a 24-year-old black man was found hanging from a tree this week. Oh, wait a minute. 
northern <coughs> Los Angeles County. I thought it was going to be Alabama or Mississippi. Shortly after 3.30 a.m. Monday, a passerby noticed a man, later identified as Robert L. Fuller, hanging from a tree in Palmdale, California. Police department personnel who responded to the scene determined that he was dead. Let's see. It's being described as a suicide, death by suicide. Uh, see, sadly, it is not the first such incident since the COVID-19 pandemic began, the city said in a statement that included information on resources for mental health. Now, of course, uh, there'll be a lot of black people, a lot, who are not going to be, uh, you know, probably never, you know, will, uh, will be satisfied that it was, you know, a suicide. Uh... Poland admits it accidentally invaded the Czech Republic last month. A man says he killed a rare silverback gorilla in self-defense. Where did that happen? Okay, wait a minute. Uh, four, four port. Just all my tricks that I do to get like the perfect shave. All you're gonna. Four porch poachers have been arrested in Uganda following the death of a rare silverback gorilla. Uh, let's see. Okay, he lived in the near impenetrable National Park and is popular with tourists. He was reported, the gorilla was reported missing on June 1st. A search launched the next day found the body located inside the park. A post-mortem report indicated that he had been injured by a sharp device to his abdomen and internal organs. One man was arrested after One man was arrested after bush pig meat and several hunting devices was found in his possession. He confessed to killing, I'm not, I don't even know how to pronounce this, right, I should have looked up above, maybe they uh, spelled it, well whatever, the, the gorilla's name was uh, friend in Swahili, Swahili language. Uh, the man confessed he said he did so in self-defense. He told authorities he went with a group to hunt in the park when they came across a group of gorillas. The silverback charged and he speared it. The man shared bush pig meat with fellow poachers. Uh, the four suspects are awaiting trial. Not clear what charges they face. Uh, sounds to me like they were poachers, <laughs> period. And I'm not sure what the penalty is. It might be very high. I mean, we're talking, I don't know. Might be death penalty for them. I don't know. Young Americans are having less sex than ever. <laughs> A woman is captured on video harassing a Filipino woman, Filipino American woman exercising in the park. Mm -hmm. 
Excuse me. I had a device something like this. A uh, guy gave to me years ago when I had the computer bulletin board system. You know, I think that was Dave Hallis. Trying to think, I think it was. Can't remember now. It was a tapes. Well, those are not tapes, though. Those are actually hard drive, SSD hard drives. It was a device, something like that, except it was on tapes for backing up, like, you know, and these were, I had a whole box full of tapes, a whole box of these things or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to stop and play with this uh, video editor a little bit. Um, and I hope my videos will start improving and uh, as I learn how to use this uh, new video editor that I paid for. Thank you very much for watching.